As COVID-19 continues to spread here in Canada, some businesses and tourist hotspots are shutting down as precautionary measures. Quinton Bignall has more. Woodbine Entertainment says it is closing down all of its facilities to the public for at least two weeks. The company made the decision, quote, in the interest of the safety of customers, employees, horse people in the larger community, end quote. Woodbine says the closure will take effect tomorrow. Mohawk Park will continue to broadcast horse races, but there will be no live audience. <laughs> Meantime, the city is shutting down many of its facilities and canceling programming, which includes March break camps. Rinks across the GTA are no longer operating. Community or recreation centers are closed for the time being. This also includes greenhouses, conservatories, arenas, pools, fitness centers, and ski hills. Child care centers have also been affected by this pandemic, as all services have been brought to a halt at licensed facilities and libraries. The city says it will be offering reimbursements to customers. Programming is tentatively set to resume on April 5th. And you won't be able to walk the edge of the CN Tower for a couple of weeks. The city's tourist hotspots are also opting to close amid COVID-19 concerns. The Royal Ontario Museum and the Art Gallery of Ontario have shuttered today per the City of Toronto's recommendations and will also be closed through April 5th. While many tourist locations are closed, Ripley's Aquarium has decided to keep its doors open. Management at the facility tells City News they are, however, taking precautionary measures. We are you know, a very clean, hygienic, safe environment because we do you know, have the animals' welfare we have to look after. We have a great experience and we are providing a place for people to go. I mean, people are calling us and asking, you know, are you open? Good, because we want to come. We're still doing birthday parties. We actually have a sleepover tonight. So a lot of it is business as usual and it's really up to the guests if they want to come or not. Uh, we offer refunds. For more information on COVID-19 and for up-to-the-minute coverage, head to citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Quinton Bignall.